In a world where technology is advancing faster than ever before, they say that machines will eventually take over everything. But what about tennis coaching? Can this AI tennis robot steal my job? Now, don't worry, that dramatic intro was just for effect. I'm not afraid for my job just yet. But Pongbot have created this seriously cool ball machine powered by AI, which can make your solo training sessions more realistic than ever before. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you their brand new Pace S Pro machine and giving you a demo of its features that set it apart from other ball machines. And so if you're like me and you love your tennis and you love your tech, then this video is gonna be right up your alley. Let's get into it. So here it is. It may look like a normal ball machine from the outside, but it's what's inside it that makes this machine super special. Yes, it can do everything that a really good ball machine does. I'll put some of its standard specs up on the screen here as I'm not as interested in covering those elements. What I'm really excited about is testing out its AI powered smart features. Now it comes with a remote control. This remote control and the ball machine connect to a smart app on your phone where you can fully customize your playing experience. But one thing that sets this apart from other ball machines is it also comes with these little transmitters. You clip two of them to the net posts, which I'll show you in a second, and you clip one of them to you. And what this allows the ball machine to do is track your position on the court, just like your opponent would in a tennis match. And what really excites me about this is because the ball machine knows exactly where you are on the court, it can tailor the feeds to you, whether it's adjusting the intervals between each feed or changing the placement of its feeds. So let's test it out. So as you can see, I'm stood right here and wherever I move on the core, the machine tracks me until I get into the starting position which is right here on the baseline T, ready to go. So although this machine has tons of features, I'm gonna be showing you two of my favorite ones today. The first one is most suitable for beginners to improvers and it's adaptive rally. And what it does, it basically adapts the feed to where you are on the court. So wherever you move, the ball machine will follow you and feed a ball within a certain offset. I'm gonna set my offset to just one meter away from me. So the feed's gonna stay pretty close. And to keep it good for beginners, I'm gonna set it just to go to my forehand side. So you'll see the ball machine following me all the way around the court. Here we go. So as you can see, it fed the ball straight to me. Let's move to the left, see if it follows me. Yeah. Further left. Yeah. Stay here again. Let's move across a bit, see if it feeds one more central. Pretty good. Let's go out this way. So as you can see, the ball machine's given me nice easy feeds as I've set the offset to around a meter. So it's gonna stay within a meter of me. I wanna make it more challenging. I can extend that offset to maybe three meters. And I can also randomize the feeds, but for this one, I've set it for one meter and just to my forehand. Pretty good. Do this drill for overheads and volleys as well. Let's add a bit more movement. Oh, that must be the minute up. Oh, that went quite quickly. Nice. So as you can see, Adaptive Rally simply adapts the feed to wherever you are on the court. So Adaptive Rally was fun and it got me sweating a bit, but for somebody more advanced, I want to customize my drills even further. And this is where custom drills comes in. So I've actually set up two, which I'm gonna show you. The first one I've set up is called Spanish Cross and it's simply feeding a deep forehand, short backhand, deep backhand, and then a short forehand. And I've actually built this drill in the app shot by shot. So um, very, very simple and intuitive to do. Um, but yeah, let's see how this first one goes. I'm going to give myself a 10 second break in between 
each round. It gives me a little five second timer. Let's get on there. Here we go. So deep forehand should come out first. Uh, then a short backhand. Ooh. And a deep backhand. Uh, uh, then a short forehand. Sorry for the grunts, folks. So yeah, as you can see, it followed my sequence really nicely. You can play around a little bit if you want to make the feeds faster, less time in between each one. I like how that third ball gives me a bit more time to get back behind it. So I actually set this drill to feed the short balls quite quickly after the deep balls, because I didn't want to get lazy hanging around. So. Let's do one more round before I show you one more drill. Ah, come on. There we go. So you can set this to go for a minute, two minutes, even longer. I'm going to stop right now. But yeah, that's what Spanish cross looks like in the app. Let's show you my next one. Sorry, a bit out of shape. This one is just set up as new custom. You can name it what you like, but I've set it up to do a forehand, backhand approach, forehand volley, backhand volley, overhead with 10 seconds break in between. Let's see how I do. Oh. Oh. Okay, you might have noticed there's a bit of crosswinds, which is why the forehand was going wider and the backhand was coming more central, so I'll fix that. Just by going into the app, edit drill, we want the ball number one, the forehand, to be less wide. And ball number three, we want that to be slightly wider. One other thing I wanted to change was the height of those volleys. So I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna make the speed of the volley slightly quicker but I'm gonna make the height lower to see if I can make those volleys come at me a bit faster and lower. So let's see how this goes. Forehand's definitely fixed for the wind and the backhand. Much better for volleys. Oh, that overhead's brutal. So there you go, that is custom drills. What I absolutely love about those is there are endless possibilities. And to be honest, I'm not too sure if there's a limit on how many shots you can play, but um, you could repeat that pattern through two times, three times. You could repeat a certain shot a number of times as well. And like I said before, every single shot is fully customizable. So um, I haven't gone anywhere near the top speed. I think it's 80 miles per hour, which is the top speed. So um, if you wanna see that, maybe I'll make another video, but yeah. I'm impressed. Yes, hitting with a standard ball machine when the ball comes nicely to you every single time can be great for getting into a groove and repetitions, but it's so far from the reality of tennis. However, with these AI features, I was able to customize every single ball that I was receiving, changing every single ball characteristic you can think of and the timing to tailor your workout to exactly how difficult you want it to be. Do I fear for my job as a tennis coach? Not just yet. I don't think the ball machine has the same coaching skills that I have just yet, but when it comes to feeding, now that's a different matter. Now the Pongbot Pace S Pro that I was using was actually a prototype, but the makers of it have told me that there's gonna be even more smart features ready for its launch soon, including a simulative match function, meaning that it's gonna feed you match-like balls into all parts of the court, making for an even tougher workout. They also do a slightly more more basic version which is a little bit cheaper but I'll add a link in the description below so that you can see all of the details and the pricing but honestly the price that they've got on it currently is absolutely mind-blowing for what it can do but I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions about the Pongbot or if you'd like to see me making more videos with the Pongbot let me know in the comments below and I can't wait to see you in the next one take care and then and then I'm gonna like watch you come down and I'm gonna put my hat on your videos have changed that <laughs>